and I'm giving you a demo of the Border Live and how it can handle your event pre-registration, uh, setting up jams and runs, all the way on through to judging and scoring and publishing your results. Super simple and quick. Uh, we're getting started with a sample customer. This is Black Diamond. Um, we're logging in as them and where we end up when we first log in is the skater check-in screen. But since you guys are new, I'm going to take you through on the event steps. There's four steps here. You create your event, then you can register people for the event. When registration is done, you can then um, check in skaters and arrange them into the jams or runs depending on your contest format. Then step three is setting up your judges and step four is running it. We're gonna go through all these right now. The first thing I'm gonna do is create a new event for Black Diamond and I'm gonna call it the Awesome Qualifiers. Now there's a lot of words on these screens, it's all detailed instructions on how to use a system and uh, we're pretty particular too about keeping our data clean. I'm going to set this event up for uh, September 30th at 9am. I'm going to also set this up at zero registration costs, there's other things you can set like the maximum number of skaters, whether or not it's available for public registration or private registration. Uh, public would be for all ages type of contest where anyone can sign up online. Private is for things like pro contests or invite only AM contests, things like Phoenix AM and, the, and such. Uh, you can set the number of judges and whether or not the high and low scores are dropped. I'm going to have no scores dropped here and keep the default three judges. And I'm going to go with jams as my contest format. Uh, there's a few other settings you can run here, but I'm going to skip those for now. We'll go over those details in another uh, demo. So right here I'm going to go ahead and create the event and uh, now you can see that my event is created right here. Uh, the Black Diamond Awesome Event. All right, that was a test from before. Well, here's our awesome qualifiers. So now what I'm going to do is register people for the awesome qualifiers. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and put myself in there. So I'm going to search Marinek, find myself right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and click register Rob Marinek and I'm going to put my email in to create an invoice to Rob Marinek for the awesome qualifiers in the amount of zero. So that puts me in for registration on the event. I'm going to go ahead and add some other people like George, uh, also at zero for the awesome qualifiers. Let's see, I'll put Clements in there too. And I'll put Stefan Janoski. Now, if you need to bill someone for this registration, you'll simply be sending them this pay link right here. When I click on pay, I can come over here and see my invoice for my four skaters that I put on this invoice for the awesome qualifiers event. And then uh, just click pay right here and then uh, that's, it's that easy. Once the customer pays for that invoice, those skaters are in your event. So I just registered four people for the awesome qualifiers. Now I'm going to show you how they check in. So Rob Marinek walks up on the day of the contest to check in. You search for him, find him, you make sure all of his info is updated, you get to see who he's registered for in the future. You can see his invoice is unpaid, um, but I'm going to actually go ahead and comp it right here. Um, he skates free. Um, so now what you'll see is when you look me up here, you will see now that my entry fee for the awesome qualifiers, which just happens to be zero, is paid. So now you can continue and go, okay, Rob, you got any new sponsors? Yeah, I'm deleting something old. Um, I got a heat sheet note right here. I'll show you how that works later. I'm going to say needs a haircut. So we're going to see that later on the judges' heat sheets and notes. And you can use that for all kinds of things. Um, so I'm updating myself here, and I'm checked in. And that process goes for everyone who walks up on the day of the event. Now the other thing you can do is get a headshot for each person who checks in. The process goes, you look them up, update their information, hit update there, that checks them into the contest, then you can easily just copy their name, paste it over to a side sheet that you have where you're keeping track of the headshot numbers from your camera that you're shooting headshots with. And later on you can then come over here and go upload headshot, choose your file, and then um, update your skater headshots that way. So step two, part of step two has already been done. All of our check-in uh, has, has gone on and now it's time to set up the contest. 
Uh, what we're going to do here is go to Setup Jams and Heats. I'm going to go to my awesome qualifiers and click Setup Jams. Here's my, all of my skaters registered for the awesome qualifiers. I'm going to put me and Ryan in Jam 1. Now I can sort this alphabetically by random or by organized sort, which shows who's here and who isn't. Um, because we want to have skaters that are definitely here and checked in in the first few jams so you aren't kicking off your contest with a bunch of empty uh, jams or skaters that aren't here. So right now I'm going to put myself and Ryan in jam one. I hit add jam, skaters to jam. I have two skaters left here that I need to assign. George and Stefan, it automatically jumps to jam two for me. It tells me how many skaters are already in there. You can see I have two in jam one that I put there. So I'm adding them to jams. Now I'm done adding all my skaters. Now the second step to setting up a contest is assigning sections. Most people don't use multiple sections. Um, section, they just use the entire course as a section, so that can be quickly set up here. Some other more complicated contests, like Maloof, might use three sections where they divide the course up. As long as they add up to 100% as far as a weight in your final score, you can use multiple sections. We're just going to use entire course on this sample here. So that's it. Our, our event is set up and, and ready to be judged. Now all we got to do is choose our judges. Anyone with a skater profile can be a judge. So I'm going to pick Jason Rothmeyer as one judge. Uh, let's see, we'll put Mike Sinclair in there as another judge. And let's do uh, James Craig as their third judge. So our judges are set up and that's it. Um, if you go to the event steps, we just completed step three. Set up your judges and you're ready to go. Now we're on step four and we go to run it. Um, I'm going to bring up a couple of other windows now. On the awesome qualifiers, this screen right here, uh, I'm going to hit judge and I'm going to be James Craig. For the awesome qualifiers over here, I'm going to make this browser the announce screen. So I click on Jam 1 and I get to see the details on the people in Jam 1, the sponsors, age, hometown, all that, and there's my note, needs a haircut. Um, over here on this third browser, I am going to be the second judge, Jason Rothmeyer. And then on my iPad that you can't see over here, I'm going to be the third judge of Mike Sinclair. So back over here under James Craig, I'm going to go ahead and submit some scores for Jam 1. We have a slider bar that's super easy uh, to use on a touch screen device. Sliding this gives you your score. This secondary slider right here lets you fine tune with uh, the decimals if you want, or you can use even uh, exact even numbers like 78 even right there. W's, B's, and H's are just a quick way for judges to input touch screen notes. Um, this stands for whatever's, bangers, and hammers. Um, judges are tapping these little counters as the jam goes on to kind of take their personal notes to give themselves a better idea of what they want to make the score at the end of the, the jam. So right here I'm going to submit scores for James Craig. Uh, and then you'll see what goes on here as James now gets, okay, your scores are submitted. Here's his score for Ryan and I. And he sees he's the only one uh, with scores submitted in. Over here on Jason Rothmeyer's score sheet, I'm going in and I'm going to choose some scores for, for Ryan and I right here too. And I'm going to submit scores and now you'll see over here on the left that Jason Rothmeyer's um, judging iPad automatically update. Uh, Rothmeyer and James Craig both now have a status and they know there's one more judge out there waiting to have a score input. I'm doing that right now on my iPad which you can't see. Um, but you will see both of these judges iPads that we see here on the screen automatically update. So Mike Sinclair just submitted his scores and you see here now that both of their iPads or screens or whatever they end up using phones are updated here. Um, there's one last procedure that's a sanity check to finalize and what this will do is flow the scores to the public viewing it, um, any live TV that has access to the data feeds and all that. Once they hit finalize, those scores are published. So here I'm going to hit finalize and you'll see that over here everyone, all the other judges um, score sheets are updated with the status. I'm going to switch to the announcer view right now and you can see that the announcers now have their status update. The judges have just finalized the most recent jam. The last jam finalized was jam one on the entire course. Jam two is coming up. And you got results so far. It looks like Ryan in first and me in second. And we have George and Stefan up to skate still. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put scores in for Jam 2. Uh, here under James Craig, I'm going to submit some things. Now under Jam 2 for Rothmeyer, I'm going to go ahead and submit a score for Porp and Stefan. Uh, over here with the announcers and what they're looking at, they can see that two, or two out of three judges have gone in. Over here on my iPad that you can't see, I'm gonna where I'm Mike Sinclair. I'm gonna go ahead and submit my score for him. I'll give George a hundred on that one. Get him in first. So I'm submitting scores for Mike Sinclair, and now you can see behind the scenes here that all the judges' iPads are updated. I'm gonna click finalize for Mike Sinclair, and we're done with that jam too. So over here on the announcer sheet, you can see another status update. Last jam finalized was the entire course. There is no next jam up because we only have two jams for this event. And you see all scores are finalized and the event is done. George in first, Ryan second, third is Rob, fourth is Stefan. And that's it for how the border works. The, the only other step here is publish your scores and, uh, and your event's done. Uh, you, you could go from here and set up a semifinals and a finals in the same exact uh, method. Uh, and that's it. Head to the after party. Thanks for checking it out.